Venusaur is a plant looking to be a thorn in the sides of enemy Pokemon. Let's talk about it. Venusaur has two distinct playstyles depending on the types of abilities you're going to choose to run. You are either going to be an artillery cannon shooting beams of light from the back line, or you're going to be diving against the enemies, getting into the thick of it. Let's talk about abilities so you know how to better prepare for the battles at hand. First, for passives. Whenever Venusaur is below 30% HP, it deals 20% more damage. Nice and simple. As for the boosted attack, every third attack, two big vines are going to swing out of Venusaur, stunning enemies, moving them towards the center of the two vines vines and dealing increased damage. In the beginning of the game, you'll be a humble Bulbasaur with Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb just as a circle that does damage. The other early move is Razor Leaf where you're going to shoot leaves out in a line and deal damage. At level 5, you could choose to go into Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb puts this toxic ooze on the ground that does damage, slows enemies, and lowers their special defense. The other level 5 option is Giga Drain, where you're going to shoot out green mist in a cone that is going to heal Venusaur and reduce all damage that you take for a few seconds. At level 7, you can choose to go in a Solar Beam, where you're going to shoot this giant beam of light that deals a ton of damage. A portion of this damage is based off of the enemy's max HP, which makes this a really good tank shredding option. The other option is Petal Dance, where you're going to scatter these flowers around you, which increase your movement speed and deal damage to everything caught in them. On top of all of that, Petal Dance also reduces the cooldown of your other ability every single time it hits an enemy Pokémon. And finally, Venusaur's Unite move is a giant seed that goes out, does damage, and then splits into four, dealing more damage. So how do we get into each of these defined playstyles that I talked about earlier? The first combination of moves is Sludge Bomb and Solar Beam. Sludge Bomb is going to increase the damage of Solar Beam. So you throw out your Sludge Bomb, you let it get a tick so that their special defense is lowered, and then you're going to nail them with Solar Beam for extra damage. The other moveset is Giga Drain and Petal Dance. This is the run and chase enemies down moveset. Whenever you are using Petal Dance, remember the cooldown reduction. You are going to be able to use Giga Drain way more often than you think, because every single time you're hitting an enemy Pokemon with Petal Dance, this cooldown is going to be reduced. So keep an eye on that cooldown and nail it every single time that you can, because that's going to make it so that you take less damage, which means that you can mix it up for longer. Now, if I was to be the person that could recommend a moveset to you, I'm going to recommend Giga Drain and Petal Dance. I find that the Dive em play style is more fun and more consistent, especially when you consider the damage taken reduction. You're going to be able to survive, maybe even thrive, against an Absol that is trying to kill you. Another piece of advice, don't sleep on the boosted attack. That stun is deadly and it does a lot of damage. You want to be able to mix it up with these auto attacks. That is why I do recommend building into the muscle band. It does help and it, that extra attack speed is really nice. Besides that, I'm not going to give specific items, but build into a more defensive style of build. You do a lot of damage, but you are incredibly easy to die. So you want to make sure that you can survive so that you can deal your your damage. I know that build sounds counterintuitive. This is a special attacker Pokemon. Why aren't we boosting that stat? Your abilities either deal enough damage on their own or just kind of happen while you're doing auto attacks. Especially with the recommended moveset that I've gone through with Petal Dance and Giga Drain, that damage just kind of happens while you're throwing out auto attacks. So we're boosting the strong areas of the kit while the ability damage is still going to come through. So get out there, farm, hit level 7, and start running at the enemies. If you want to keep learning Pokemon Unite right now, Click on the video on your screen, it'll take you to another guide. Otherwise, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.